Well, hello there and very, very merry December to everybody. Tell me, do you want to install PC DOS 7.0? Actually, we already know the answer because it answered it for us. Yes, for December, I usually don't do these kinds of things, but I thought I'd do something different from for December. And in English, we are installing PC-DOS 7.0, also known as PC-DOS 2000, because this is indeed, even though it says PC-DOS uh, 7.0, we are actually running PC-DOS 2000, so it will patch in those additions. But what do you like this very, very nostalgic uh, install screen? We are indeed going to install Full disclosure, I am not running this on actual hardware and I've done this a couple times before just to check for the most common mistakes that I'm, I'm about to do. So let's hope we have a slightly more, uh, let's say, seamless video experience than some of my other attempts. Uh, but Liz, we are going to Good old days of 2023. Yes, indeed. That was one of the things that PC DOS 7.0 patched. It is Y2K compatible, which is indeed why they called it PC DOS 7.0, even though it came out in 1998. Um, I am, for those who don't know, I am indeed in Finland. Now, here's the issue that I'm going to encounter a few times during this. I actually use Dvorak as, as my keyboard and I still have muscle memory for QWERTY, but <laughs> I'm probably going to uh, struggle with typing uh, a little. I checked PC DOS 7.0 does not natively support Dvorak, so I am just going to have to deal. Um, keyboard is indeed, unfortunately, the uh, basic no Dvorak here, unless it's hidden somewhere. I, I always get excited when I see Slovak, but, but no, that's not the uh, same thing. Um, yes, let us continue setup. So, uh, what do we get with PC-DOS that we don't get with IBM? No, sorry, this is IBM the PC DOS that we don't get with Microsoft DOS. These two separated uh, starting DOS 6.0. Before that, they were essentially the same product uh, with minor changes from IBM to make it more, more compatible with their PC line of products. And also they had some version numbering differences and some different features, but essentially it was the exact same product until uh, DOS 6 uh, when they moved their own separate ways mainly because they had a bit of a bit of a rough time with you know Windows and uh, and OS 2 that they were supposed to do instead of Windows um, so that was it we can actually install DOS antivirus I don't think we need to do that new thing with PC DOS is the Rex language support which is a programming language i know nothing about the only thing i've i've programmed in is uh, quick basic in my life well i've done some other things but essentially we're not going to be uh, compressing the drive because that makes everything slow um, and central point backups are also a feature but i don't think we're going to need that so let's continue setup and here we go with Installing IBM PC DOS. So, while it's doing its thing, uh, I thought we'd look into a bit of history and a bit of differences. So, you know, uh, MS-DOS uh, was the thing that got Microsoft, uh, they, well, they bought a version of DOS and that gave them, uh, that gave them uh, the, uh, contract with IBM to do an operating system for them. Uh, but IBM was involved from the beginning doing some conversions of their tools. And then, uh, then with that, Microsoft also had uh, the license to, to sell this 
operating system product for other manufacturers and other compatible systems as well, which is, uh, which, well, I think made a few amounts of money for some individuals. Well, uh, I think I put in the wrong disc. This comes in uh, seven, no, six diskettes. Um, so yeah, Microsoft first licensed and really uh, then purchased 86 DOS for x86 compatible systems. And yeah, the versions pretty much were the same, but since since Microsoft started going heavily into, you know, Windows 9.x as we as we like to say it, uh, they also kind of ditched the standalone DOS product that that my, uh, that IBM actually wanted to still keep for legacy systems. This is mainly to keep legacy embedded systems going. That's the whole idea of getting Y2K compatibility so that you can run your, I don't know, ATM uh, that's still running an ancient thing that's been built on DOS because actually paying IBM to patch the old operating system is cheaper than to migrate the whole thing uh, into it. So here we have an installation of PC DOS. And what I like about this is that I can now check my auto exec patent config.sys. So I definitely want to do that because I am a nerd. Uh, so uh, we continue setup. And actually, this is where we'll see the first big difference. No more edit, because edit is a propri uh, proprietary uh, Microsoft product. So they had to write a whole other uh, text editor for, uh, for PC DOS uh, after they lost all the Microsoft things. And this is the e-editor that I actually kind of like. I mean, I also like edit because you know nostalgia and all that but but there's there's some neat things to this like you get more information around the screen and so pc dos install is now complete remove any disk from the drives uh eject and we are going to restart the computer for some reason this uh, bios always gives me these errors, I just I just ignore it. That's what I did back in the day. And this machine that we're emulating is pretty much uh, the pretty much the computer that I had back in the nineties. These days, bit bummed that I didn't keep it, but when I threw it away, it was definitely the right decision because I had way too much stuff and and it was not worth anything. I actually ran. Uh, free DOS on it. It was a pain to uh, to install back in 2000 and what should I say? Uh, to 2003, getting it to actually run was whew, it was a journey uh, with actual hardware that is, and without the internet as a guide. So. Uh, here we have the install. It's a bit more complete than originally instead, uh, intended, but indeed, what is this? This is essentially just DOS. It's not uh, Microsoft DOS, but if you dir the drive, uh, you get really familiar looking things. And yes, there's some things installed on it already. Uh, you get command com, you get a DOS directory, which we can enter not with those keys in this system. Um, where is the C key in Dvorak? There it is. Uh, DOS, where's the O key? I should explain. This keyboard actually, it's a mechanical keyboard, so I ch switched the layout to Dvorak, so totally not regretting it now. Is there no O key? 
in Dvorak? No, in, in QWERTY? Oh, found it! Okay, so we can dir that. Oh, we, we shall dir slash. Oh, all right, this is, okay. It actually went to, it actually didn't go to the finish layout. Okay, well, never mind. Um, fortunately, I'm, I'm pretty used to uh, the American layout as well. So here we have the contents of the, the DOS directory. We can see a lot of familiar things, but you can see different things like the e aforementioned e-editor. There's no DOS shell here. Well, obviously it's running a DOS shell, but not the program like the full screen file management software, because that was also uh, Microsoft. It does not have QBasic, so you don't get the really good uh, apes throwing bananas that explode game, uh, which is always, always a shame. I Yes, I was that bored as a kid. I played a lot of that game. Also learned me how to code basic, so, you know, useful skills in 2023. Do we have some, uh, some uh, new, uh, new uh, commands like choice do we want a choice or not let's say yes um yes we want a choice it appears we got a choice i don't know what that does del tree pretty self-explanatory move pretty self-explanatory this does not come with a basic interpreter i don't think uh it comes with the Rex uh, interpreter. Let's do l more exciting DOS things because yes, this thing does give you access to, well, what the point of the whole thing actually is. Like you get legendary DOS software, like my favorite writing program before I move to using them. It's WordStar Professional Release 4. It's the one that people talk about. It's the one that uh, that guy writes those big <laughs> big song of ice and fire books with. So I'm, I'm, I'm using the same software means I'm at least as good uh, uh, at least as good uh, a writer as he is. Um, let's open a uh, open a text and read me seems like an excellent, excellent uh, evening reading material. So we shall open that one as lo soon as I find the T key, which I did. Alrighty then. Um, this whoa okay this has some kind of a nesting thing in it which i do not know how to use because i just you know write words they appear like thusly uh, writing words obviously since we are running DOS, we have to ask, does it run Doom? But of course it runs Doom. Not only does it run Doom, it runs it in, in Y2K compatible mode, <laughs> uh, which I, I don't think Doom had much of a problem with this, but we can, uh, we sure can, we sure can play them Dooms because of course we can play dooms and i'm playing dooms with with the mouse because i heard from john romero himself that this is the intended way to play all those strafing really weird since they hadn't quite figured out like you have to keep hold the wrong button down while while moving the mouse and and 
no, wrong, wrong button on the mouse while pressing the keyboard, and that that's how you strafe. It's it's it as someone who never played this game with a mouse, it's very distract distracting. But I can kind of do it. Oh, fireball in the face. What what could be grand or not? Not winning any speed running. Uh, speed running uh, uh, not getting any speed running uh, things uh, uh, from that and yes I'm playing the registered version of Doom I do own a legit copy of the of the files so uh, don't sue me uh, or if you do sue me for some other reason, because this one will hold in court. Uh, and yes, indeed, even though pretty much the OS2 versus, versus Windows debacle broke DOS and, well, MS-DOS and PC-DOS apart, it certainly runs Windows, and it runs it really well actually uh, this is uh, Windows 3.11 not for work groups I, I don't think and we can have all the all the goodness that comes with it like solitaire look how beautifully it runs uh, we never asked if it runs crisis we asked does it come with solitaire and if it comes with solitaire you lose days of doing it but just imagine how much time you saved uh, opposed to playing it with real cards where you have to shuffle and and like deal and do all sorts of card things like in here you don't do card things you just go also minesweeper which the only way of playing minesweeper you Take the absolute maximum grid, only get... Oh. You... you no? I don't remember what the maximum is. Uh, it's like... It's like 30 times 30. Yeah, you, you do the maximum grid, but you only, only get the minimum amount of mines, uh, which makes the game, you know, really easy. Well, I was concentrating more on what I was saying, so let's do it again. Oh, this is actually harder than harder than I thought. Um, usually, it's like hold on. Ah, this game was easier when I was a kid. Um, there, that's the way you play Minesweeper. You know, the most challenging game there is. But that's PC DOS. It runs everything MS-DOS would, and more. And there was also a PC-DOS 1, 7.1. Oh yeah, actually, I need to correct myself. This was PC-DOS 2000, which reports itself as PC-DOS 7. But then there was pc DOS 7.0, which added support for FAT32 uh, file systems, which... Uh, however, that seemed to have only been released to certain uh, corporate customers, uh, and I didn't find the files anywhere. I looked, but no FAT32 uh, bits for me, but... Now the question is, should we run PC DOS rather than... MS-DOS 6.22 or whatever version of actual DOS uh, or actual DOS, this is an actual DOS, I mean uh, a DOS uh, that's been developed by Microsoft. I like to do it because like it, it takes away the question of the 2000s uh, weirdness because sometimes some programs can have a, light, a slight problem with it. Also, you know, I'm a nerd, so I like to run the latest software, and this being released in 1998 is indeed the latest software you can get 
for uh, for a DOS thing. And it runs really well. It runs everything super well. So that was my look into PC DOS. Have a nice dos and I hope you enjoy whatever secular celebrations or less secular celebrations you might have around this New Year's time. There's plenty of them. You pick and choose. I'm not here to judge. Well, except I was here to judge PC-DOS 2000 because that was sort of the point of the whole video.